So, hello and welcome back. And before we continue, I just wanted to point something out. Um, as you can see, um, we have a line break here after this um, first header and after the second header, even though we didn't specify any line breaks after that. But after the B tag, for example, after the I tags, we didn't have any line breaks. Um, we need to we needed to specify the line break here manually, and that is because there are um, inline elements and block level elements, where um, block elements like um, the header tags always take up the whole um, line for themselves. The whole row um, gets populated with this tag where the inline tags like B and A or um, a lot of other elements only span, um, well, the content that they surround and nothing else. And that is just something I wanted to point out. And you can look um, block level elements and also inline elements up to get a list of all of them. In this uh, video I wanted to continue to build a frame of a website for an online shop and I have here prepared a folder for that. There is only a cat image in here. Um, this will be a placeholder for a product um, image and in here we will um, build, um, well, the website and then in the following videos we will write um, the styles in CSS for that website and also um, continue to implement the logic in JavaScript. So at the end we might have a full working online shop. But let's see how far we will go there. I'm not sure why it stopped the tag here. But either way, we need to have HTML tag anyway, so let's specify the language again, which is American English. This is basically the same thing as for the last website, but here we will choose another title for online shop. F8, and then we can begin to build our website. And we first want to have a header with the navigation. website and this navigation will be an unordered list of links. For example, we can go to the um, shop items and we go, can go to maybe the account page and to the about page or something like that. And inside of here there will be an A tag, an anchor tag. 
and this will be not populated for now and this might be job Course, I've got something. We first need a list, a list item. Like this. And I'm not sure what we can have. Maybe we. Hmm. Oh, of course, we can have a card. And maybe an about page. Something like this, I guess. And we also, aside from a header, we want to also have a footer. with copyright information and maybe a legal disclaimer linked or something like that. For now we will just write this is a copyright statement. Something. And this will be displayed at the bottom of our website. And in between here, we will have our main content side of the main. We can then have our items listed. And I want to think about how I would like to do that. And probably I would like to have this just as a list, uh, just without any encapsulating items, just have all the items in here. And later when we go to the logic, we can insert um, things into the DOM directly using JavaScript. So I can't think of any fitting tag here, so I'm just using the div element. The div element can just be used whenever there is no other fitting tag. And I want to give it a class of shop item. Close this tag again. And in here, we would like to have maybe an H1 with the item title. And then we would like a picture of the item. which would be the cat, JPEG. And we also need to specify an alt tag so screen readers can make something out of this as well. And this tag doesn't need to be closed. And then we might have a P element with a description
and what else can we have? And of course, we also need a button. So we can buy it. And there also should be a price. And this should be bold. Price. One hundred dollars, like that. I think this would be um fitting for a very simple web page for a very simple web shop. Let's see. Online shop, we have here our on our item title, then we have a huge image, and then we have a price right here, and at the end we have our footer, here our header. So the content looks to be right. Don't don't worry about the design for now. This will all be done in the next video when we learn about CSS and then we will style this website so it will look like an online shop. But yeah, this should already be it for this video. Looks like the content is all here. And yeah, then see you in the next video when we learn about CSS.